To Rory's second shot, the ball wasn't the only thing that went in the water. Check this out. The club as well. From fighting in locker rooms to blasting each other on social media platforms, even the greatest golf stars have their feuding moments. If I'm having a bad day, you know, if I just hit that one three wood into a par five, that was absolutely striped. You know, that, that kind of keeps you going throughout the day. Golf might be a gentleman's game. But that doesn't mean bad blood won't boil on and off the course. Some golf stars just can't see eye to eye on the course, and this has burst some of the most controversial feuds of all time. What is the cause of these rivalries? Do these golf icons ever attempt to resolve their differences? Stay tuned and keep on watching, as your favorite golfer might just be on the list. My pearl drive, now that you're looking all shiny and sweet. I'm gonna tea PGA Tour versus Live Golf. For almost a year, this has been the main trending topic in the golf world. In fact, all the recent controversies among players are centered around the traditional tour and the Saudi backed series. Live Golf has changed the game and has even forced the PGA Tour to increase the earnings of its players and also alter some of the rules of the sport. No one ever imagined that this would happen. Immediately, Live Golf came on board. Every top PGA player became the center of a story. Will he go? How much will they pay him? How could he leave the PGA Tour? These were some of the questions on the minds of most golf fans. At the same time, the DP World Tour and PGA Tour questioned the intent of the move and denounced it. However, this did not stop the Live Golf CEO, Greg Norman, from luring the 48 players that it needed for the four-player, 12-team format mapped out. We're not trying to des destroy the PGA Tour or the European Tour. We're there to work within the ecosystem. Norman told this in an interview with Fox News and added that the golf world has plenty of space for another tour because it is a multi-billion dollar industry. The PGA Tour reacted by banning the defectors. The animosity between the PGA Tour loyalists and the live golfers was palpable as they openly expressed their disdain for one another. While speaking about the players on the other side of the divide, the PGA Tour event winner Shane Lowry said, There's certain guys that I just can't stand them being here, to be honest, and um, I don't like it that they're here. He was not the only one on the table, as McElroy also shared his sentiments by affirming that it would be hard to stomach competing against some of them. Uh, look, my opinion is they shouldn't be here. Um, they've been paid a lot of money to go play on a different tour. Rory stated that it was wrong for the Live Golf Rebels to participate in any other tournaments aside from the one organized by the Saudi Back Series. Rory McIlroy versus Patrick Reed. Reed is among the many top players that have left the PGA Tour for the breakaway circuit. This move was not well received by the PGA Tour players. To make matters worse, the 2018 Masters champion has filed several lawsuits on defamation against top golf personalities. And how does this affect McElroy? The dude was served a subpoena by Reed's lawyer on Christmas Eve. Like, who does that? Rory totally stumped Patrick during one of the practice sessions ahead of the Hero Dubai Desert Classic. Reed reacted to this by tossing a golf tee at McElroy with the Live Golf logo on it. Rory Lear spoke about the incident, claiming that Reed wasn't living in reality. I was busy working and sort of doing my practice, and I didn't really feel like I didn't feel the need to acknowledge him. He further stated, I was subpoenaed by his lawyer on Christmas Eve. I'm living in reality. I don't know where he's living. If I were in his shoes, I would expect a hello or a handshake. Meanwhile, Reed felt that Rory's change of attitude towards him was because of him switching to live golf. He accused McElroy of being immature. He saw me and he decided not to react. It's unfortunate, but it is one of those things. If you're going to act like an immature little child, then you might as well be treated like one. Now, that's what I call a hot feud. Next up is Vijay Singh versus Phil Mickelson. This list would be incomplete without mentioning Singh and Mickelson. Vijay has very few friends among his colleagues due to his antisocial behavior. However, the feud between the pair happened at the 2005 Masters when Singh called out Mickelson for cheating. Singh told other players that Mickelson had left long spike marks on the greens. Look, I, I don't mean I don't mean disrespect by anybody. I know it's a two-shot penalty. Mickelson spoke about the issue, saying, After sitting in the locker for a while, I heard VJ talking to other players about it, 
and I confronted him. He expressed his concerns. I expressed my disappointment with the way it was handled. I believe everything is fine now. Mickelson downplayed the incident because the New York Post reported that the duo could be heard shouting at the top of their voices, animated shouting match that nearly evolved into blows, per the New York Post. After the exchange of words, Phil and VJ calmed down and one can easily assume that they are cool with each other. However, knowing that VJ has a long list of enemies, there is a high probability that the resentment is still there. Moving on, our next few deserves an award and it is between Sergio Garcia versus Nick Faldo. This particular feud has stood the test of time and we might never see the end of it. The beef between Sergio Garcia and Nick Faldo has lingered for more than 15 years. It all started at Valhalla in 2008, when Faldo was Europe's Ryder Cup captain. The team suffered defeat at the hands of their American rivals. Faldo wasn't too pleased with Garcia's performance. He revealed this at a 2014 event six years later for Golf Channel, where he described Garcia's efforts in 2008 as useless. Referring to 2008, the former captain went on. He was useless. Half a point. Bad attitude. Anyway, we move on six years later. Meanwhile, the Spaniard also dropped a great line four years later after becoming Europe's all-time Ryder Cup point leader. When asked how he felt, he dropped this gem. This means a lot to me, Garcia said. I have passed some of my heroes today and Nick Faldo. Faldo recently reignited this feud with the live golf star after the Spaniard took aim at Rory McIlroy. Garcia and McIlroy have had a fallout because of his movement to the breakaway series. The 2017 Masters champion called out McIlroy for being immature. He told the Telegraph, I think it is very sad. I think that we've done so many things together and had so many experiences that for him to throw that away just because I decided to go on a different tour, well, it doesn't seem very mature. Lacking maturity, really. Felda, however, believes Garcia is the immature one. The three times Masters champion took to social media and tweeted, now this is rich coming from the most immature player I've ever witnessed. Faldo didn't just leave it with that, but decided to make fun of Garcia's anger issues in the Dan Patrick Show in 2019. Yeah, I've, got, okay. I've got Sergio Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a real looking impression of angry Garcia. Kudos to you, Nick Faldo. Which one of these feuds didn't come to you as a surprise? Click one of these videos showing on your screen now. See you in the next one.